Hey, g'day guys, VK2PCT, uh, just having a crack at another aerial. I've just seen a couple of things on YouTube, thought I'd give it a go. I bought this uh, 9 litre squid pile about six months ago. I thought I'd just come down and have a play of it in the park here. Um, so what I've done, I've just got some DX10 here. I've just got a SO239. I've got, got a bulkhead one just bolted here, soldered soldered the center conductor on about 12 meters wide it runs up the nine meter squid pole comes back down about halfway there the end of it there i did have to add about oh, 12 inches onto it to bring the, S the swr was around two at, at the first attempt at about 11.4 meters so now we're around about 12 meters in the vertical um and uh Probably got about six six meters of uh, earth uh, counterpoise out. I just got a gal bracket here into a spike with a nut, and that's the earth, just a clip. And uh, on seven point, whoops, that's oh, becoming a habit. Uh, in 7.150 7 we're at 1 1.4 or 1.5 to 1 that... so down at uh, so we're virtually going to be uh, looks like under 2 I don't go down that far, but that's 1.6 at 7.058. Uh, we'll just climb up the band. I'm more interested around 7.150, 144 for parks on the air. This might give me a different uh, look at things. Uh, look, 1.92 at 1.46. So no doubt that'll probably uh, go all the way up to 7.300 and stay under 2. Let's have a look. One point seven at two nine seven. So it's probably not too bad. I probably need to do an ugly ballon or something or put it some sort of choke there. But I'm um, just going to quickly chuck a radio on now. I'm just getting out the. Um, the kid I made, I haven't finished it yet. We'll get around to it soon. So that's this is how, I know how easy it is to get ready. So the radios are there. And the back's off, and we'll just connect up some power to it. Um, off the, uh, I got a battery in there, 120 amp hour battery. So we'll connect it up, see if we can make some contacts. I mean, 40 hasn't been good as of an evening, but we'll have a look. But if I can get this to work, then I'll just make, I can wind up an 80 meter call that I could just uh, fit in between. We've seen a few of the lads, um, uh, Mike and. Uh, and Callum do them and a few other guys so hopefully I can achieve the same thing. Alright, let's have a crack at it. A VK2 PCT. Good evening gentlemen, Victor Kilo 2, Papa Charlie Tango Portable. Uh, you got Paul this way, Papa Alpha Uniform Lima. I uh, just tested a squid pile we've just thrown up in the air, mate, here uh, in Emu Plains, 5Ks, uh, 5 days to the west of Penrith in the lower mountains there. Whereabouts are you? 
Yeah, I think it's VK5, ZTG, I think it was, uh, VK2 PCT portable returning. Yeah, we're about five kilometres west of Penrith in Emu Plains, just in a park here. Uh, getting pretty dark, so we'll call it a, call it soon. I uh, just thought I'd bang up some uh, cable. Uh, it's about 12 metres in length, folded back on a nine metre uh, uh, squid pole um, with about a six metre counterpoise. Uh, at the base and uh, yeah pretty flat about one it's looking about 1.3 to 1 here while we're talking to you uh, with 10 watts 10 watts just out of the radio and just doing a couple of quick tests mate make I've, I've marked a few spots on it so it's for quick deployment next time we're out doing a uh, park activation there uh, vk5 ztg i think it was uh, vk2 pct portable Yeah, good evening gentlemen, just testing an antenna, I've just got a 9 metre squid pole up, about 12 metres of uh, uh, cable, just doubled back uh, halfway down the squid pole and about 6 metres of counterpoise. Uh, just wondering how uh, how we're working to you guys, it seems pretty quiet, I found you fellas and I hope you don't mind me just stopping by to uh, see how this antenna's working. We're running 10 watts, uh, we're located at Emu Plains, about 5 kilometres west of Penrith. Uh, in Sydney's west, in the lower Blue Mountains, there back to you. Why would we mind? <laughs> Why would we mind? Yeah, mate, Dave. Uh, you're, you're, you're five and nine, five and nine, so the squid pile's doing a fantastic job. How are you going with it, Richard Owen? Yep, I, uh, I concur. Five and nine plus five here. Um, not a problem at all. Um, yeah, really good. It's, uh, it's working uh, exceptionally well in my, in my book, guys. Yeah, good on you. Thanks very much, Richard. I got you uh, 5, 9 to 20 over. And uh, Dave, uh, you're fluctuating between 5, 8 to uh, 10 over. So um, it seems to be receiving quite well. Quite happy with that. And uh, I believe uh, VK5 and VK7. Uh, is that correct? You got it right. Uh, good on you, gentlemen. I won't hold you up too much longer. I do appreciate you bringing us in just so I can test this. Um, I appreciate that and uh, all the best and uh, I'm just doing a bit of a video if you don't mind just to put on my channel to see how this uh, works if you guys are okay with that. There, back to you. Here you go Richard. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, VK3, uh, VK2 PCT, uh, VK5 UK. Um, I'm actually located in, in VK3 in Victoria uh, in the Murray River town of Echuca and a uh, little bit of QSB that time but uh, yeah, no, that, that antenna is definitely working. Um, yeah, I, I quite often go uh, portable with a uh, with a 40 foot uh, squid pole and 100 watts. I'm using uh, full legal here at the moment, uh, given the, uh, the amplifier a little bit of exercise. So that's probably why you uh, you got me uh, at a fairly high signal there, and my dipole does uh, favour that direction. All right. Having said that. All right, there you go. That's a quick test, mate. Uh, took me, well, I, I cut the wider length at home, uh, and you know, as it takes you long enough to pull a squid pole out, I got a couple of zip ties to a bin holder and put it up. Got an SWR on first go of uh, two to one at 7.150. And uh, so I lengthened it, uh, I don't know, probably about 12 inches. And now we're pretty flat across there, and uh, for a first first crack at it, um, that's pretty good reports down into VK7 and VK5. I think uh, VK5 was in VK3 land. So uh, quite happy with that. Um, I've marked, as I said, I've marked the counterpoise. I may, I'm going to look at maybe making a uh, a coil similar to what they do with a DX Commander, and then I could just drop it over the um, drop the squid pole in it, and have the have the base of the coil sitting around it. And if I want to use 80, I'll be able to just uh, uh, just tap it. I'll probably um, cut this here, put a couple of alligator clips, so I can just um, take it through the coil or clip onto the coil. But yeah, not too bad for the first go. 
I'm actually going to get some aluminium discs and have a go at doing my own, my own uh, version of the um, DX Commander, maybe. Um, I'd just be happy if I can get um, 40 and 80 off it uh, and compare it to the other antennas I use because there's uh, 9 metres in the air there. So, uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that. All right, thanks very much for watching, guys, and... Uh, and uh, if, if you like the video, uh, never said this before, hit the like button, that'd be great. It uh, helps me to, you know, look at making some more videos. But um, I've got to finish off this one yet. A uh, few things to do. Put the tray in there and a few other things and uh, do an antenna for the 70cm, uh, 2 uh, metre radio. And uh, we're all good. But um, thanks very much. Take care. 73s and cheers for now.